Now let's have a look in this video at how we go about selecting individual objects within a sheet of objects like we've got here. So let's have a look at this first. That They appear to be exactly the same, but one's an SVG and one is an EPS file. Let's have a look at the first one and see how we immediately tell the difference. Animal friends, have a look in the layers panel and you can see they're individual layers of each object. That's because they're in SVG format and not EPS format. Now you can see that last one is a layer that's um, sitting over the top of all of them and it's a rectangle. We don't want that in there because that will interfere with what you're doing. Now there's two ways of doing this. Just hide the rectangle or delete the rectangle altogether and the rectangle is now deleted. The last one on the top on the bottom there is the pig layer and that's the layer that becomes automatically selected. So with this it's easy. It's an SVG file and you can go through and select each object you want. Having a look at the objects you can see all the curves that make up that object and it would take you forever to individually collect one. We're going to look at how we can collect these images into that sort of nice collection into groups really easily and of course when you've got it selected like that you can go up here you can copy that group you can go to designer you can start a new document new from clipboard and there's your new document let's just back out of that we'll get rid of that because we don't want that one at the moment we're not using that if you wanted to use it there it is now you can see the little image here the second from the left it's now got a transparent background. That's because we got rid of that background layer. Let's go to the backup and there's the layer back in there because I, I did the undelete thing. Just used the two arrow keys there and went back. Now back we go there. Let's have a look at one that is actually an EPS file and how can we tell? There's the file I've downloaded and it's an EPS Oh, and how can I tell? Because, like magic, there's 10,000 vectors in there. How do we individually get uh, organize them? Easy. Now you select the Move tool. See that up the top there? Move tool. Tap on that, and you've got... What have you got? You've got the background. Now, you know that's the background because we can move it. And there it is there. Hasn't moved the images underneath, but it's moved the background. Let's go there. Let's cut the background and it's gone all together. But we've still got all these thousands of layers. I'm just scrolling up there till we get to the top. There's our layer panel. Now, how do we get these individual layers? Because while we're on the move tool, we can draw a box around these and it just draws a box anywhere there that so that they're all in the bounds. Just carefully bring that box down. Ta -da. And there's the box. They're all selected. That's that group there. Now, where's our group tool? One to the third in. It looks like a little jigsaw puzzle piece. And they're in a group. Put that over to one side. We're still on the move tool. Deselect that. Still on the move tool. Go over here. Just drag that down. Nice little square around there. You mightn't think you can do that, but you can. It's so easy. They're all nicely highlighted there. Put them in a group. And now you can start to see what's happening. Let's move that out of the way, deselect that group, make sure we're on the move tool, go to the lion, oh I've missed the lion's head, oops no, can't do that because I changed the shape of the lion didn't I, let's deselect it, let's do that again, because we don't want to change the shape of the lion. There we go, that's just cleared the top of his head. 
and I've got him selected. Now if you find that you've missed a layer, a curve in the table, you can select that curve and add it to that layer, that group, sorry. We've created a group and there he is. Deselect. Make sure move is selected. Make sure I've got him selected this time. There we go. Little piggy's all selected. Go to little piggy. There's all the curves. And group. We've now got a little piggy group. Go over here. The last couple. Deselect. You've got to remember to deselect because if you don't, you'll inadvertently move that already selected object. Now here's our animal. A little squirrel perhaps, or something like that. Nicely selected. Go over to the layers. There they all are. Very neat. And group them. And there's one left. Theoretically. Deselect. Make sure we're on move tool. I know it's already highlighted there, but I like to make sure by tapping it again. Make sure you've got a good eye for detail there. Remember this is an EPS file that I'm selecting these from. And I've missed a couple of objects there. So deselect it again. And we'll start a little bit further to the left. There we go. That should have it all in. There we go. That's got it. Over here. And group. Are there any spare objects there? No, everything's in a layer. Look at that. And there's your single layers. Just deselect your single objects without having to go through and collect all of those curves into one. You just go to the front, make sure there's no background, and highlight them all. Too easy. Go back to there, and it still looks the same. This one here, remember is the SVG already, and that's already been done. Now, we don't want that in there, because you can do exactly the same. Remember I just highlighted that and copied it? Well, if you get rid of that, that background, we've got the little piggy there, deselect, let's try the line. Highlight the line. Oops, not quite. The top of his head's outside the boundaries. There we go. There we go. And there he is. Within the line, all of the curves are selected. Just deselect that. They're all unselected. And put it back down. Let's put the background back in. Keep going, keep going. There we go. Background's back in. Deselect everything. Back to square one. Now, where did I get that from? Let's see if it shows up. Import from cloud. See, and now I've got Animal Friends EPS, and I've got Animal Friends, and that's an SVG. What I might do is go through and put the word SVG in those names. It just it doesn't show up because it doesn't display. The second from the bottom is a PNG file that shows you all your animal friends. That's for reference, because sometimes you can't see them in the, um, in the little thumbnail, and you want to be able to see which file you're opening without going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. And that's how easy that is. Let's just cancel that and go back to there. Here's how we do the same thing in um, the desktop version of Affinity Designer. Downloading an, e downloading an EPS file and selecting a, a single object. Now I've got a nice big mouse pointer going so you can see where we are. Over here, thousands of curves and you could go through and select one at a time and highlight it and copy it and all the rest of it. And you could end up anywhere. We don't want to do that. What we've got there is the, the whole lot selected. 
but we don't want to do that either. Same as before, go to select, deselect, so nothing is selected. Go to the move tool, top left hand side there. Move across. Make sure you've got a bounding box there that you can draw. OK. Now using the move tool, nothing else. We're not drawing rectangles or anything. We're just going to hold the mouse down. Draw a rectangle over that one. And let the mouse go. Now you can instantly see in the right hand side that all the layers related to that group have been selected. Now what do we want to do with those? We want to group them. Click on group. Too easy. There they are. The next one, don't forget, go to select, deselect, which is which is command D on the Mac, deselect. But now we go over here, we're still on using the move tool, and we're going to select the next group next to it. Make sure you can draw a rectangle. Because if you leave any of the colours out, you'll leave a stroke out and then you have to go to all the trouble of dragging it into the group. Finding it and dragging it into the group. Which is not a big issue when there's only one or two of them. Over here, up to group. Select the group and there's the second group formed. Command D to deselect. Move tool still selected. And we're just above the line there so we go across. Draw a box down there. It doesn't have to be deadly accurate so long as you've got the whole object selected. Now go up here and click group and there's our next group. Command D to deselect. Ready for the next one. See how quick it is now? Now you can go down to that group there. Select the group. Now there's another group made. You can see it on the bottom. Command D to deselect it. That's about right. Have we got it all in there? Yep, there we go. Pull them into a group. Deselect that group. And the last one. Oops, you can see I've missed the left hand side. Ah, oh, that's no good, so just deselect it. And go over there. Now we've got it selected. There's the nice little group. Go up here and copy them into a group. And you can see there's no spare layers left outside. That means we've got them all. Now you can go through and if you want one, that one, or that one, or that one, it's just a matter of Selecting them, edit, copy, file, and we can go new from clipboard. And there we go. Nice transparent background. And you can export or save that as an SVG. Don't mess around with the EPS file. Save it as an SVG. Now, how easy is that? Okay, that's it. Hope you found that enjoyable. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on the thumbs up and the bell and you'll be notified of any new additions. Thanks for watching.